Okay, for those of you trying to put this rib on the bottom here, you're trying to do a loft, which is the correct way. That way you won't get this weird edge around here. And in bond shape, it was called a wrap. Essentially the same thing, but it's not called a wrap in Inventor. Here on the bottom, I drew the bottom of where that rectangle is going to be. Then this smaller one is the one that's going to fit perfectly on my cylinder sticking out right here. It's exactly the sides and lined up with the other one. So you have to make a new plane, project it up a little bit over here somewhere so I can take this and project it onto this curved surface. To do that, I want to do a 3D sketch. So underneath 2D, I want to do a 3D sketch, but I want to project it onto a curved surface. I'm going to try closest point. This is only about the fourth time I've tried this. So I'm going to choose that face. Curves. I know they're not curves or straight lines, but they're called curves in this instance. Say apply, and it just wrapped it on the bottom there, as you can, as you can see. Okay? So we're done with that. I don't need any of this stuff anymore, so I can can hide that. Hide that. Still need that. And now we can do our regular loft. The loft and sketch. Down to that sketch. Say OK. And now we have our mostly perfect. It's a little skewed because it is coming in, it's wrapping itself on a curved surface. But we have no edge there, as you can see. Right there is what we're looking for. Clean lines. So that's how you perform the uh, projection geometry or wrapping it a 2D sketch around a curved surface.